It's about that time of day again here, boys and girls. Welcome back. Welcome back. Newsletter time. JJ here. Schooltrade.com is the web address. Sidewaysmarkets.com is the blog address for your nightly newsletter. It is Tuesday evening, February 3rd, 2015. Third day of the second month of the year 2015. Welcome to your nightly newsletter. Boy, another rip-roaring day. It's been a wild ride on crude. We had plenty of selling opportunities as we pushed higher on crude, but those buyers just would not give it up. We got a plan for you guys if you're wondering where we're going on crude. Russell, Russell, also a stingy sucker at those highs, right? We were trying to find some entry triggers to get short on those highs on the Russell. Russell wouldn't come off the highs. Gold finally came off the highs, though, so we got gold selling off today, just as we expected. Crude, though, crude and Russell, a little bit stingy here, and we got a plan for you guys for tomorrow. Still had plenty of selling opportunities today as the price jumped higher, but as you saw, those E-minis and that crude boy, they just would not give it up, and we get a plan for you guys, so stick around. We can get that plan ready for tomorrow, okay? Before we jump into our charts for today, I got a jam-packed newsletter in store for you. I want to remind you guys, make sure you're watching this video right now on our trading blog over at SidewaysMarkets.com. There are three reasons why you should watch this video on our trading blog right now. The first reason, you can download all the charts Everything I'm going to go over tonight, you can download all those charts by following that link right below the video. Second thing here, upper left-hand corner, I got a free pass for you guys to come out and join me in my live trade room. Come out and see what it feels like to be a student here at School of Trade. Maybe you're wondering, right, how we make money off of these newsletter levels every evening. Maybe you're curious what it feels like to be in our trade room. If you're not a member of School of Trade, I'd love to give you a special free pass to come out and attend our trade room as a guest. And, of course, last but not least, third thing, we have a nightly newsletter mailing list. Give me your name and your email address, and I will send you that email every evening right around 8 p.m. Eastern time when our newsletter is available for downloading for the day. All right, guys, three things here. Download today's charts, grab your free pass, and don't forget to register for that nightly newsletter. If you register for the mailing list or you grab your free pass, I'm going to send you a verification email. So make sure you check your email inbox. Don't forget to check your spam and your junk folders. That way I've got the right email address. All right, let's rock and roll. Got a busy newsletter for you guys this evening. And we're going to start out here with the mighty mini Russell. Now we might be wondering, where is this Russell going? We have a relatively strong push higher here over the past day and a half, two days here on the Russell. We moved all the way up to short-term range highs, and, well, we pushed right through those. Where are we going, though? Where are we going? Well, you can see here we're headed up to the highs of this range right now. And the way the market moved today on the Russell, it definitely felt like this Russell had itself at least heading up to some range highs here. You know, usually we don't see that. It was relatively low volume, right? Relatively low volume today. So jumping up to these highs, and, you know, I said it yesterday. I'm going to say it again. We are right up around these highs. So we're definitely having a difficult time being a buyer here right now. I am definitely looking for selling opportunities. We may get it here. We may push a little bit higher, right, and then have to sell it off of this, 1202.4 to 1210 area but either way you slice it right now though got to be careful long term being a buyer right now you might get some nibbles to the buy side here on that Russell but that tells you where we are right now in this big scheme of things and then if you recall we were expecting to see again from last night's newsletter we had sell zones here sell zones here and you can see we never really got much of a sell off it well here we are now right below that big round number of 1200 we're running right into major resistance here at the highs. And so you can definitely see here, once again, if you're a bull, you've got to stay patient right now. Wait for price to pull back before we go higher, right? So if you're a bull right now in the Russell, you're looking to buy the 83, the 74.9, right? The 72.1. If you're a bull right now in the Russell, you've got some waiting to do. If you're a bear like I am right now, well, obviously bullish, bearish. I don't care what direction we go in here as a day trader. All I know right now is my only option right now is to look for these buyers to fail 
and then sell these highs of the range, right? When I look at this chart, the first thing I see is we've made this really dramatic jump up and you know these markets they can't keep they can't keep moving that aggressively forever. So we're due for a correction before we try to make another move up, but again, couldn't tell you whether that happens now or whether we jump up here overnight, early morning, and then get the short off the high. But we'll definitely be looking for, with this Russell overbought, at range highs, we're looking to sell these highs, right? We're looking for a retest of the channel lows. And again, that's where those buyers will come in and buy it right back up. So if you're a bull on the Russell right now, you've really got no choice. You've got to stay patient and wait for that pullback. If you're a bear right now, we're in the perfect spot here to get short and I'm going to use these green targets these green support levels here below I'm going to use those as profit targets but only after we see those set those buyers try and fail at these highs moving forward here on the Russell now this is a very important chart as you can see Russell's clearly bullish but volume clearly confirms this bull move into the close today. Look at the highs here, right? New higher highs in price. The volume goes right along with it. So you can see, very, very easy to see there. That volume clearly confirms this move higher. And I'll tell you right now, I wasn't expecting it. I was not expecting to see that volume confirm higher. Wait till you see gold, right? I'm sorry, wait till you see crude. When you see crude, you'll see what I'm talking about. Usually when we get these big runs up like this, Usually, we're going to start running out of gas at the highs here, and it usually shows up in the volume, and it's usually a pretty easy clue here. So this tells me that buyers, you've still got some gas left in the tank here. Pulling back, you can see plenty of buy zones, plenty of buy zones. So this last chart, this last chart tells me, all right, let's be patient if we want to be a seller. Here's what I look for. If you want to be a seller, I would look for price to retreat or pull back, try to go higher, but watch for a double top, watch for a lower high, right? So we try to pull back, buyers take it, watch for a lower high. When we get that lower high up there, that's going to tell us that whatever sentiment was here at the end of the day today has dried right up as we watch this thing play out tomorrow morning. So clearly here, this particular chart, it gets me in the mood to be a buyer. If I didn't know where we were in the big picture, that's the problem. Right now, we know where we are in the big picture right now. And that big picture tells me, I just have a really hard time being a buyer at the highs like this. So I'm gonna wait to be a buyer. I'm gonna focus right now on watching early in the session tomorrow, watching for price to come down, try to go higher, and when they fail, yeah, that's when you know we're going to have this thing trying to sell off here. We got targets at all of these green areas below, okay? Keep an eye on this trend line. Keep an eye on that trend line because that trend line right around the 1174.1, right on top of this area right there, that's where I would be expecting for your easy money target for tomorrow on the Russell if we get the buyers to fail. Again, right now though, we are looking very bullish here on that Russell and volume confirms it. Last but not least here on the Russell, we have our price action chart and we can see here once again, price action is bullish, but wait a second. We don't look very strong here. You know, we tested the highs here, but we seem to be hugging the lows of this channel right now. We have a channel break, a retest of the high. Again, this confirms here, I would expect price to go higher before it goes lower. Okay, we don't look very strong at these lows right now, but we have, and we haven't tested the highs recently. Okay, knowing that we're at the range highs, we're looking for the buyers to fail. So look for, once again, look for the buyers to try and fail, and then we're going to use these levels below us as some targets. Pretty tough stuff here on this Russell right now. Pretty difficult stuff. Heads up, this is a trading range, you can see. And that trading range, breakout, pullback. Again, I do see price wanting to go higher here. But if they roll over and fail, 
you've got this trading range. Make sure you get below that trading range for your sell short. Target's waiting for you down below. All right, guys? So right now, do expect that Russell to push a little bit higher here before we get the failure to the buy side and the push back down. Let's keep moving. On to the gold. This is the only of the three markets. Only one of three here gave us those nice, easy selling opportunities here. And I was right about this last night. We got one more shot to get short. So if you stayed patient on this, took my advice from last night's newsletter, you definitely had the selling opportunities you need. Actually, two selling opportunities yesterday here on the gold. We head on down, and as you can see in the text in this chart, gold is bearish. Lower lows, lower highs. Okay, we got the easy sell off the highs from last night's newsletter. And we're looking to take some profit down here at 1252.3, 12.44 even. Now, if you miss the entry short, you've got a couple more options here. I've got an option here at 66.9. That'll be another option to get short. Also have another sell zone, 1271.2 to 1274.8. That'll be your only option here to get short once again if you miss that sell from last night's newsletter. Be aware we have a trading range down bottom. This trading range down bottom will be a price magnet. So you will have price gravitating towards that, that range. We have an AB equals CD. Get a measured move. So we are on the lookout here for selling opportunities on the gold right now. And again, don't force it at these lows right here. If you missed the trade short we called last night, wait for price to go up a little bit, sell it back down at this zone overhead. State of the short side right now in the gold. Gold's an easy market for us right now, a little bit easier than crude and the Russell, right? Those wild markets we've had the last couple days. Again, looking at the 16 here now on gold, very, very similar. We've got lower lows, lower highs. Very, very easy to see we are on the bearish side right now. Okay, I've got sell zones waiting for us overhead. I have sell zones waiting for us overhead. The hard part right now, like I said on the earlier chart, is that if you miss the chance to sell these highs, if you miss the chance to sell on the retraces, we really got to be patient right now, wait for price to go up, and we can sell it again. So looking for sells at the resistance areas overhead. And, of course, we got targets waiting for us down bottom here on the gold. Moving forward here on the gold price action chart. Last but not least here on the gold price action. Gold is very bearish on this price action chart. We're selling at resistance levels overhead right now. We recently broke down this bear channel. Right? Recently broke the bear channel. We should be able to retest that low. So be on the lookout for a retest of 1256.4, and then we have a measured move target all the way down at 1239.8. So we recently broke the bear channel, so we expect the sellers to retest the lows at 1256.4 before trying to move to the measured move target at 1239.8. Again, if you want to be a seller right now with me on gold, you've got three easy areas there to be a seller. Stay focused on selling at resistance on the way lower here on the gold. And again, we've got targets here below 1256.4 and 1239.8 on that funny yellow metal. Looking good. Looking good. Let's keep going. Moving from the gold here now to the crude. Boy, we had crude on a tear the past few days. Blame it on the weather. Blame it on the violence. Blame it on whatever you want. I personally think this is nothing more than profit-taking after the end of the first month of the year, but I'll leave my opinions to myself. Opinions don't really matter at this point. We knew we had some sell zones overhead. I, as I said last night, I was expecting us to most likely run up to that 5177 area and then collapse off the highs. You can see, though, it sure, is, it sure didn't stop there, right? It kept on going. So we had sells. Sells got the sell here, but didn't get the sell up high. And of course, it kept on going. Here's a great example of a market that has put together a very strong rally over the past 48 hours, but we haven't seen a big pullback yet. 
I always think this way. Anybody can put together a one-day rally. Anybody can put together a one-day drop, right? Look what's happened over here. Look at this example here, right? So we know that price can easily push higher, and just when you think those buyers have ripped the control out of the seller's hands, it comes right back down again. So we're not out of the woods yet. We know that those buyers have had a good run the past two days, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to call this bullish until we have a significant pullback and then make that next leg higher. Then I'll draw my trend line, then we'll call this bullish. So as of right now, we have done, in, in my opinion, we've done nothing more than put us in a great spot to get short. So even with this rally, we do not, right? We do not see a pullback yet. We're going to wait for that pullback. Now that pullback is going to give us some easy selling opportunities off these highs. So we need to see the buyers hold after a pullback before we call this bullish. Keep looking for selling opportunities here at these highs right now. And this 51.77 area is going to be a huge area for us. 51.77. We get back below that level and we should have no problem getting down to that 48.91 here. So I am definitely bearish. In fact, I'm even more bearish than I was in last night's newsletter because this has done nothing more than put us a little bit further at those highs. Okay, now here is a very important chart. Remember what I said earlier, the Russell confirmed with volume making that high. Look at crude. Crude does not confirm the volume, right, does not confirm this move higher here. So as you can read on the chart right now, crude oil is bullish, but volume does not confirm the final push to the high. We expect the buyers will try to buy the lows of this bullish channel, but we're going to be watching for those failures to the buy side right now so we can sell it short. So right now, again, volume down at the lows. Volume does not confirm this move higher. When we line up these highs, we line up these highs, we see we do not see any real higher highs in volume. That means the buyers definitely ran it up, but when they get up there, though, there wasn't a lot of volume to confirm that move to continue. So what are we going to do with this? Well, we know there's going to be some buyers in the market. We know there are going to be some buyers here that are going to try to buy this thing on the pullback, right? Everyone's, everyone can't wait to catch this thing before it goes back to 100. I don't think it's going back to 100 anytime soon. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. doesn't matter. But the reality is, is you know there's a lot of emotion behind this, these, these buyers right now, right? You know there are people out there that are basically putting all their eggs in one basket right now and thinking we're going back to 100. I don't quite think we're there yet, but we're definitely on the bullish side. So I'm definitely going to look for buyers to enter here at 5108. Okay, as we pull back, I'll look for buyers to enter. But really, like I said before, I'm expecting this price, I'm expecting us to get some buyer tension here at the bottom of that bull channel. But I'm going to be watching here for a failure at these highs. And you can see we've got one, two, and then three, that 54.91, right? Just, be just below that 55, that's the measured move target the measured move resistance overhead so again i'm expecting price to go higher we'll look for the failure and i've got one two really we have four different levels at these highs now that we can be using for those selling opportunities okay careful though careful though right now again probably going to see this price go higher before we get it to go lower, right? So just be on your best behavior right now. Wait for those buyers to come in, wait for them to fail, and then look to sell at these resistance areas overhead. All right, guys? If we just roll over and go lower, we'll consider it to be bearish once we break and go below that 5108, right? So again, if we go lower here, just be aware, I am going to look for a buy at that at that buy zone here, right? I mean, after all, we're seeing higher highs and higher lows. So I will look for a buy here at that 5108 to 5033. But again, just you wait. If it fails 
and gets below that zone at 50.33, we're going to be looking back to the downside here now, and it could possibly be a bloodbath. Now, this is another very important chart. As you can see, we've got a lot of really important clues on crude today. A lot of conflicting signals, right? we got some... We're up towards the highs. We know we want to sell the highs, but we get a nice, strong, bullish trend going in the short term. Volume does not confirm, though. So we kind of have that back and forth right now as far as clues go. Here's a very important chart. In the short term, this is not looking very bullish right now. So crude is bearish in the short term, but stay patient. We haven't seen the buyers. We haven't seen the buyers try to hold this pullback yet off the highs. So wait for the buyers to try to hold this pullback, and when they fail, that's when we're looking to sell. So remember, anybody can put together a one afternoon collapse, right? Anybody can put together a move like this off the highs. I don't really consider this to be bearish until we go up and then fail. That's when I consider this to be bearish. Then I draw out my trend line. Then I call this a bear trend now. So right now, what I see is I see a bullish trend that got a little bit too big for its britches overhead, now has corrected to the downside. And so we're going to see, again, you can see here, overshoot, correction, it's probably going to go higher here overnight. And we'll be looking, like I said earlier, we'll be looking to sell these overhead resistance areas Remember, anybody can put together a one-day rally. Anybody can put together a one-day sell-off. Right now, we have an afternoon sell-off here today. And so what I'll expect to have happen next is I'll expect these buyers to try to defend these, this kind of trading range right here, right? It's that trading range right there. So I do expect these buyers to try to fend off these sellers. But again, that volume clue from the last chart just told me those buyers are probably running a little bit out of gas right now. A little bit tough here, as you can see, right? A little bit tough here, as you can see. So expect price to go higher. We'll be looking for the collapse to sell off these highs after price pushes higher. If we do happen to collapse and go lower, you know what I'm doing. Every new lower low, I'm selling retracements, looking for my continuation patterns to the downside. Last but not least here on the crude, and this chart really sums it up. This is a really important chart here as well. Last chart here on crude. Crude has been a wild ride. Obviously, we've seen that, right? The long-term bull channel is broken. Okay, so follow the bouncing ball here. Long-term bull channel. Long-term bull channel is broken, right? There's your break right there. So we have the long-term bull channel is broken. That tells me these buyers are going to try. Obviously, no guarantee here. They'll get all the way up there, but they're going to try to retest that 54.17. So we're going to see these buyers come in and try to run this back up. But wait just a second. We also see here a short-term bear channel. And what do we see in the short-term bear channel? We see an overshoot. So there's an overshoot to the downside, and we know that when we see an overshoot, typically the correction is a lot more dramatic. So bottom line, whether we're talking about the bull channel break or the bear channel overshoot, we expect this price to go higher here before it goes lower. Okay, so bull channel break, bear channel overshoot, both of these clues tell us price should go higher. So price should go higher before it goes lower. And just like I said in the last chart, we're going to be looking for buyers to try and buyers to fail at these areas listed above. Difficult to tell how far we'll get. Difficult to tell. But right now, I'm very, very suspicious of these bulls right now on crude. And it has a lot to do with the big picture of where we are, way up near those highs of the range, and also the small picture, which was the volume that we saw going into the end of the day today. So again, expect that price to go higher before it goes lower, right? And that's pretty much the same across the board here. You know, really, 
gold's the only one right now that's easily pegged to the downside right now. We're definitely looking short on gold right now. But Russell and crude, though, well, I'll tell you, they could, they could definitely push a little bit higher before they go lower here in tomorrow's session. Guys and gals, I want to thank you so much for being a part of our newsletter here this evening. Thanks for waiting around with me. I know I'm a little bit late to the newsletter this evening. Don't forget, download today's charts, grab your free pass, register for our newsletter mailing list, and if you happen to get over here to schooltrade.com, don't forget, we have the best free trial in the business. You're going to learn more on my free trial in one week than you've learned possibly your entire career on YouTube, right, or on those crazy forums out there. All right, guys? Don't take my word for it. I'll put my money where my mouth is. Join the free trial, register for the free trial, and you'll learn all about how we trade here at School of Trade. While you're here, don't forget we have three levels of membership, and we always have someone standing by 24-7, 365, to help you guys out if you need any help. All right, guys? Great job today. Tons of volatility right now. Feels good to be a day trader when you get all this volatility. But we got to get this to calm down here and pick a direction right now. You know the plan. And remember, don't do this alone, guys. Come out and see me tomorrow morning in my trade room. We'll do this together in real time. Trade room opens up at 8 a.m. Eastern time. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow night again. Same time, same place. My name is Joseph. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye for now.